Heart issues are one of the leading causes of death among children. The CDC shows around 1 in 77 kids has a heart condition. And a soccer player in Kent County is one of those children. Thankfully, he's alive thanks to some great teamwork. Our Matt Witko is checking in to see how he's doing and what his team is doing to honor him. 14 soccer players are getting life-saving treatment certification of CPR. If you can see right over here, they're getting that kind of training all because of what happened to their one teammate. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Connor Hansen and Jeffrey Souls are teaming up off the soccer field for an important reason. Begin CPR. And then you would begin CPR again. Two months ago, Jeffrey found himself needing life-saving CPR. I kept on running or whatever, then it's like, remember getting like really lightheaded, and then I just like fell, like I don't even remember falling, like I just, yeah, that's when I blocked out. Jeffrey says he has a hereditary heart condition, but his family never thought this would cause him to go into cardiac arrest. Thanks to the quick thinking and some muscle memory, his coach and EMS got Jeffrey stable. The, when, when I made the call to 911, uh -huh. um, the operator picked up and, and he was fantastic. Awesome person. Um, he instructed me what to do. Now, Jeffrey has a defibrillator and pacemaker and is back out on the field. Uh, well, at first I was a little nervous, but then I was like really excited because I could play with the team again. And I do like indoor a little better than outdoor. So. Still, that moment when Jeffrey went down lives in the memories of his soccer teammates. Connor, who lost his dad due to heart issues and seeing his friend gasping for air, didn't know what to feel. Second thought of just why, why the heart? It's just why again, basically. Connor and a few of his teammates didn't want to feel helpless again, which is why they say getting CPR certified is so important to them. If we had the proper training, we could have just went in and helped. But now you will be able to. Now we will. That's why we kind of went for this. I, th I think it might come in handy like later in their life and if they keep on focusing on it and stuff and maybe practice it and continue to practice it, that it could be really important and uh, maybe save somebody's life. In Grand Rapids, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News. According to the American Heart Association, at least eight out of every 1,000 infants born each year have a heart defect. While some can be diagnosed while still in the womb, there are a number of ways to screen for defects after they're born, like EKGs and chest x-rays. We have more information about that and CPR training on our website.